Hello my peoples, what's up? Welcome to the One Stop Co-op Shop. Jason here and today I have a playthrough of A Gentle Rain. This one is a tiling game, a solo game in essence. You can play cooperatively by taking turns, but in essence this one is a solo game. You will be running through this stack, you'll be placing tiles, um, matching up colors. Eventually you're going to be able to place these markers and once you place eight markers you win the game. Or if you run out of tiles, you lose the game. Very, very simple. I am going to run through the rules and then play, uh, give you a solo playthrough. This is the One Stop Co-op Shop. We are a gaming empire. We have the YouTube channel. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel. We have our podcast, lots of podcasts, often twice a week uh, of uh, solo and co-op gaming goodness and topics beyond. Uh, so please go ahead and check out the podcast. Our Discord is such a lively community with conversations about anything that you would want, new games, old games, solo games, cooperative games, uh, above the table or right at the table. I mean, a total a bunch of friendly people. We've had so many conversations and gotten the compliment that, you know, just it's just a really good community where people can disagree, but do so in love and kindness for one another. Really great. Go ahead and check out our Discord. It's completely free. So just jump on in. The link to the Discord is in the video notes. If you want to support our Patreon, we have one right there that will give you access to extra tiers in the Discord and some other perks. So we have Patreon available as well. So without further ado, let me go into uh, the rules overview and the playthrough for A Gentle Rain. The rule set for A Gentle Rain is extremely simple. Uh, take a look, take a deep breath and relax. Uh, very, very simple. The rules are very light, uh, a very easy to, a game to get into. On your turn, you are going to be drawing a tile and you are going to find a place to place them so that you can complete a color match. So in this particular case, I will just place that right over here and pass turn. And I'll just keep drawing. <laughs> and it's, it's, it's that simple. So then I would want to draw and place a tile there. Now, as you can see, I'm starting to close in on a square. When I complete the circle over here, then I'll be able to place one of these tokens. It, the tokens would have to line up with one of the colors. So as you could see, if I would be able to place this token right there, or I'd be able to place this purple one right there, I, it's, it would be my choice depending on what's available and what how I use to complete the circle. So then you know, that could be a little bit of a challenge. So like I'm trying to get that over there. Oh, I'm so close. So I would have to place this somewhere else. If you cannot place, you would have to pa you have to discard it and move on. But let's say I was able to get the tile that I'm looking for, Eureka. It would go right there and then I would choose one of the colors and place it there. The object of the game is to place all eight tile uh, all eight tokens before this stack runs out. Scoring, if you are able to place this uh, set of tiles, you would simply uh, get credit for whatever tiles you did not place. So, you know, the, the sooner that you run out of the game, the better your score will be. The maximum score is 21, which is completely impossible. <laughs> I'm convinced. I haven't, haven't even come close. Or if you run out of the tiles altogether without placing the tokens, then you lose this game. And that is it. That is the very, very simple rule set for A Gentle Rain. All right, so we are ready to begin. I have laid out a unique tile to begin the game, and I'm going to start to draw and place. So first placement is, well, thank goodness I did not get a tile that completely missed. I think that's possible. <laughs> to have the first tile completely miss every single color. So uh, thank goodness I was able to place one color at least. And that gets me started. So then I will check this out. And I think I want to try to go for uh, some closed squares a little bit early, just to give myself a little bit of information. I could just kind of build out, uh, but I think I want to try to at least keep things contained a little bit. I think that's part of the strategy of the game is your initial build. It's, it may seem simple, but there are definitely ways in which you can advantage yourself if you want to try to go for the high score. All right, so uh, a couple of things to note here in terms of my decision space. I already noticed that I'm going that I'm getting a lot of orange. There are 14 edges. So of the tiles, there are 14 different instances of each individual color. 
what that means is it's going to become harder and harder to find the right placement as games go if I don't keep at least a loose track of what colors I'm placing. So just a, a thing to note in terms of, again, the decisions based of the game, uh, how much of what is coming out. Uh, so this is obviously something that I cannot use to fulfill this area, but I am going to place it, uh, you know what, I'll place it over here. Get my uh, space going that way. Next tile. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I was able to place one there right away. No muss, no fuss too much. And because I'm placing so many of the orange, I'm just going to use my orange right there. Uh, so, yeah, that completes that. I don't have to worry about orange too much. All right, adjust the camera a little bit as my pond grows take out another tile um, keeping in mind that I want to be able to place a tile here eventually uh, I can't do everything but <laughs> at least I could try to set up as much as possible uh, okay I could put mm, I'm not sure if it benefits me to just kind of close off oranges early no, uh, so yeah sure why not <laughs> Uh, and at least it gives me options over here, and I'm probably going to be placing this uh, be, be red blossom there eventually. All right, keeping with my desire to just close off all those oranges, you see I'm getting a whole bunch of them. Good thing I already placed. And, you know, the, the whole uh, field is, is filling up as well pretty fast. So red is also a frequently occurring color. It's going um, to be hard to track that throughout the game and I think I'm not uh, going to make too many comments about it. I'll let you guys or and gals that are watching the video go ahead and keep track of colors uh, yourselves. I won't say that too much about that but that is the decision space of the game so I want to at least articulate that pretty early. So at this point you know everything there is to know about playing this game. The, the 14 different colors being mindful of where things go. You can probably map out you know the different tiles. These are all unique tiles at some point uh, some you know really smart person will be able to, to maintain all of the different unique tiles and, and be able to kind of almost guess or deduce what is left in the uh, uh, pile, kind of tile counting style. That is the gamer decision space of the game. But at the end of the day, this is meant to be a quick, meditative little jaunt that lasts about 15 minutes. So for the rest of the video, I'm not going to speak until the very end. Just gonna play and uh, play a little bit of relaxed music in the background to give you a sense on a different level of what it's like to play this game.
And that is the end of the playthrough. Look at my beautiful pond. Look at the eight tiles, or the eight tokens I was able to place. I have three tiles left in my, uh, in my stack. So that would be a total of 11 points. So not bad. Finished the game. <laughs> And I made a, I like my layout. Uh, it's actually nice and calming. So that is a playthrough of A Gentle Rain. Go ahead and check that out. Available on the BGG store and other places where you can acquire games however you um, see fit. I hope you enjoyed it. This is the One Stop Co-op Shop. And this is Jason reminding you that we'll see you at the next stop.